chat. All right. Yo. Yeah. We back, man. Yo. We gonna yeah. be getting into some big things, man. Uh, you know, things are moving. Things, things are, is moving. Things are I feel like we really, we really gonna be moving after September. After we both come back from. From vacations. from 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 said sabbaticals so, from 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 paradise, <laughs> you you know got your honeymoon, you know yeah, got your Mrs. Bond Doom, yep. me coming back from an enlightening trip to my home country, from where my parents is from. You gotta document that, John. I do, yo. I gotta grab something. I gotta grab like a little camera or something. Nah, man, what kind of iPhone you got? Uh, success. Can there I grab go. the little tube joint, like the little? What tube joint? Actually, no. I could just record it just like this. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I mean, I'll show you the basics. You don't want to do. You don't want to do portrait. You want to do landscape. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah. So I mean, it, but you got you got like thirty two, right? A sixty four. Oh. Ooh. So I can. You good. You good. And we can put that on the we can put that on the site. Yeah, you can document it. Yeah. Oh man. See, this is why you smart. <laughs> you loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy a house. Appreciate you. Go buy her, buy a house. Everybody buy a crib. You know what we haven't done in a while? What? Yo, I'm Mark Randall the third, and I'm Derek the blurtest, <laughs> and I'm Derek K. Darko, and we are the Midnight Marauders. Hello, everybody. Recording live from somewhere. We are the Midnight Marauders. Oh yeah! I, oh yeah! I like that. Hello. We are the Midnight Marauders. 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 We are the Midnight Marauders. Yo, you know what, though? Soon we're going to be able to listen to that, though. What, the, the song? Yeah, because I got the drawing that connects this to this. All we need now is a headphone splitter. Yeah. So we can both hear at the same time. Uh-huh. And I won't have to do nothing in post. Like, the idea is to stop, to edit as little as possible since we have so many more shows. Right. Hello. <laughs> Everyone. You know, you, know, you know where that's from, right? Is that Don Cornelius? Oh, I don't know. I just know it's from Black Star. Oh. Yeah, uh, most deaf Talib Kweli. Big fan of Black Star. Most deaf fan of Talib Kweli. That's the only song I know from Black Star. Yeah, fuck with Black Star. They're dope. They were some soul. They were some soul ass dudes though. They're I mean, black. I don't think they get along right now. I mean, I, mean, I think I think most deaf is still in Africa. He he's not even most deaf no more. He's Yassan Bay. I don't know how to say it. So I don't. Yassan Bay. Yassan. I thought, it was, I thought it was Yasmin. Nah, Yasan. Yasan? Yeah, Yasan. But Bay. it has an M. Yasam? I don't got no M in it. It has Y A S I M. Hold on, I gotta get to the Googles real quick. Cause yeah, I'm pretty most, sure. Most Def my man is like I always I was always I was always a fan of most Def. Oh, I thought it was Yasmin. Yas Yasmin something. That's what I thought. Hold on, let me see. Is he is he's he's supposed to be Muslim, right? I don't know. Yo, did you ever see that video of him getting force fed? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that yes, shit was tense. Yasan Bay is no, is no. Uh, oh, it's Y A S S I N. Yeah, Y A S. Yeah, I N. Yeah, Yasan Bay. All yeah, right. I saw that joint. I don't know why he did that, but I think he wanted to show. I think he just wanted to, like, be real. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because that shit looked, that shit looked, that shit looked serious. He was sitting there. No, no. He started crying. Yeah, I like that. Was like, yo, that was like real. Yeah, he was like, yo, this is me. Stop it. Right. It's like, oh, okay. He's not. He's he's not. He's he's not trying to put on for the camera. Yeah. He's like legit fucked up. Yeah. They're yeah. trying to feed him through his nose, right? They shove a tube down his nose, so he and then it goes into his stomach. Wow. Yeah. Well, close to his stomach. Something like that. It must hurt though. It seems I'm pretty like sure it, it burns. Yeah. And then the food they're giving you is, I mean, it's mush. Should just keep you alive. Yeah. You know, because that's for people who was hunger striking in Cuba. Mm-hmm. Guantanamo? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm never trying to go to, Gu- to Guantanamo. I mean, Cuba embargoes up, so a Cuba trip might be kind of cool, but I'm not trying to go to no prison. I wouldn't. Yo, being locked up abroad might be a really scary thing. Ah, fuck yeah. Oh. It's, it's just because it's just like. Fuck yeah. Especially if you don't speak the language. It, oh. Especially if you don't speak the oh, language. So it's scary. because it's just like. What do you do at that point? It's like, yo, I'm trying to call the embassy. The niggas not gonna listen to you. They gonna be like, fuck out of here. Yo, and well, a lot language. of times, especially if you fuck up. Oh yeah. Like when we used to, when 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 we used to be in the military, when we when we would hit new ports, we would have major port debriefings. 
Okay. Because if you fucked up, like if you fucked up, fucked up, yo, your ass was there. Like they got you. You're not coming back to America. Um, I mean, America might step in every once in a while, but there's yeah. tons of people. It's a lot of people that's who locked, are locked up, up abroad, yeah, abroad. So over like, some dumb shit like peeing in public or something. Yeah, so you really gotta. Yeah, it's really like a process because yeah. it's, it's so many. It's so many of us locked up over. God forbid overseas. they take your information and you really fuck. They take your passport or something. You screwed. Because how are you gonna prove you is you? How do you prove you is you without like to the government? Yeah, it's like no, nah, no, nah, you you an illegal like yo. I, that's that's real scary to me, man. Yeah, you can't even be like, yo, just call my mom because they're like, nah, we don't like, we don't, yeah, we, well, we don't, we don't talk to foreigners. And bro. they can't even, they can't even understand what you're talking about. Yeah, they're just sitting there. Duh, 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 duh. I just made up that language, by the way. I, I know, know that was dope that. language. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of like gibberish. Uh, you know Weekends what I'm gonna do? First? Yeah, I want you to go first because I w- I want to talk a little bit about my weekend to tell you a uh, revelation that I had. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I don't really, what do we, oh, my cousin, um, my cousin graduated high school. Hey, congratulations to him. Now he's out in the real world. Oh, her, her. Well, her. Naya, uh, congratulations on graduating. Now she's going to go to college. She's going to a historically black university. Where's she going? Hampton? Is that black? She's going to Hampton, so uh, she's going to be an accountant. I Make have a prediction, and I will prediction? keep everyone updated as this goes along. But I think she will change her major. Well, yeah, that's I think she will change her major more than likely. I feel like an accounting. You either. I don't think anyone comes in trying to be an accounting unless you got that call. But a lot of people, I feel like they was like, "Oh shit!" Like I went in for anthropology, and this shit ain't working out for me. I'm just going to slide over to accounting because I can do, you know, numbers and decimals right quick. I don't I don't think anyone really aspires to be an accountant off rip. Yeah. You know, I think she's going to get there. She's going to find out some shit that she's really into and she's going to discover herself and she's going to change a major. Hopefully it's year one. And that's typically and that's all of college. Let me tell yeah. you something. Uh Oh, break this Speak down on it, bro. Oh, man. College. It is what you make it. It's like. A lot of our parents and a lot of like teachers and stuff like that want you to know what you want to do, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, y'all don't y'all don't have to know what y'all want to do, especially in freshman year, yo, because I'm telling you, like you're gonna be deep into some major and then you're gonna be back another year or two from your original graduation date. I'm telling you right now, go go into college undeclared, really, just go in there and just really just find yourself that first year. Even even if it had to take another two years, just find yourself. Just really look deep into your soul and be like, yo, what do I want to do? You, not your parents. Don't let your parents dis- uh, discourage you. Don't let your girlfriends, your boyfriends discourage you. Just really, just really look inside your soul and really just, just be out there and just be like, yo, oh, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do because that's how I fucked up. I let my parents and my girlfriend at the time fuck me up. What they, would they have you majoring in? Yo, so when I first got into school, I was undeclared. Then I was about to get into teaching. Then I was like, yo, I don't want to do teaching at that. I didn't want to do teaching at the time. So then I was about to just do two years at community college and chalk it, just do criminal justice and become a cop. Then my mom was like, no, no, cops just do overtime all the time. You don't want to be on overtime. Cops get bread over that overtime, too, just oh, a yeah. side note. Well, not even cops. Like anyone in yeah, anyone, anyone in law overtime. Yeah, exactly. Um, my family, they be doing corrections. Yeah. And he be like, yo, I just worked this. You got this much like cheddar. And I'd be like, that shit must be nice. Uh, like if I would have known, if I would have known that, if I would have just stuck with my gut and I would have known that, I probably would have just stopped after two years in community college and probably went to law enforcement. But I didn't know. So it's my fault. So then I got, so then my girlfriend, my girlfriend at the time was like, yeah, I'm about to be a doctor or whatever. So I'm like, all right, I want to be on your level. Fuck that. I like computers. I like playing video games. I'm about to be a computer science major. Like an idiot. That is not what your degree is in, though, right? It's not my my degree is in. Okay, yo, so <laughs> got the got the got the temple. That computer science shit was real, dog. <laughs> couldn't even pass math. Couldn't pass simple JavaScript one. What was it like? Did you just go in unprepared, or like did 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 you go to a Philly community college first? I went to a, a Montgomery County community college. Did they just not prepare you properly for that shit? Do you feel like I don't you got think it was necessarily. 
not prepare me. It's just that when I decided that I wanted to go into community, uh, the computer science, I was really undeclared already. Oh, okay. So I was undeclared for those two years. So you wasn't, oh, you wasn't taking the proper steps. Yeah, I wasn't taking the proper steps. I was just okay. taking anything. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just take this, take that. Yeah. Like, yo, just imagine, just imagine if I would have known that I wanted to do film in my freshman year. Dog, I would have been way. I would, whenever people, like, oh, you know what's funny? Like, whenever people, a girl actually came to me at, at work the other day, mm-hmm. and she was saying that she's has a communication degree. She's minoring in, um, I guess, film. Yeah. And she was like, she was asking me questions about how to do shit. Mm-hmm. Like, how should it work? She didn't even know what a demo reel was. Like, this girl needed help, and I was like, me personally, I come from that that school of philosophy where I feel like if you want to be into film, just shoot films. Like yeah, a lot of people do don't yeah. believe in that. Like they'd be like, you got to go to school. Don't. And that you know, shit is fucking expensive. Yeah, it is expensive. And that's what that's what kind of discouraged. That's what used to discourage me is like people be like, yeah, you got to do this film school and you got to know people. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, I'm like, you know I, what? Dog. I would highly recommend you take that whatever money you was going to put into school and get the very basics of shit. Yeah. Like a camera that is competitive. And an editing system and some software, and then just get at it. I went to school for visual effects and motion graphics. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to do that shit. Yeah, and I kind of felt like I already know how to do like to do the film shit, but I wanted to do transformer shit. Mm-hmm. I wanted to make giant robots fight each other in the streets. <laughs> you Michael Bay ass nigga. Yeah, <laughs> a little chiller than Michael Bay. I ain't gonna blow up everything. <laughs> you know, but most a little things, chiller. Yeah, I feel most you. things. I I like I like the subtle visual effects. I like shit like um, yo, this fucking chain working out for me. Hold on, because I feel like I'm like turning like this. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna hurt my neck. There we go. This feels better. Yeah. So I felt like um, damn, I forget what I was saying now. Fuck. Wait, read read this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit's shit. scary, dog. <laughs> Drinking THC water. Oh my god. Oh my god. THC in the water? That shit's horrifying. Yeah, yeah. Goodness gracious. Be high all day. Like, not only would you be high, but yo, like, I, honestly, I would be, I would just be mad scared. Like, in life. Uh, yeah, so school and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, just go out there and, and, and just, like, do shit. I, I went because I wanted to learn how to do a trade, mm-hmm. which was that post-production aspect. I essentially wanted to be Robert Rodriguez. Okay. That's what I wanted to be before he became super shitty and got all crazy with his life. We got to talk about that later in the show, too. <laughs> Why, we talked you, about it did, last did show. You, did, did you do some research? I did some research. Uh-huh. And I want to say... I'm a fan of Robert Rodriguez, but Robert Rodriguez old stuff. Yeah, his old stuff. His new stuff is garbage. I don't even know what new stuff he even got. I out. think the last thing he did was Machete 2. Machete 2 was awful. It was pretty bad. Yeah. I like Machete 1 though. Machete 1 was cracking. Yeah. Yo, the fucking the fucking girl from Spy Kids was in Machete 2 looking very adult. Yo. I'm not gonna lie, I had a crush on her ever since Spy Kids. Oh, for real, since Spy Kids? Since Spy Kids. Uh, I'm not mad at you. Because you remember, I was a young boy with Spy yeah, Kids yeah, game. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so mad I'm at just you. Like, I'm not mad. Oh, yeah, she man. stepped out with the with, with the fucking assless chaps mm-hmm. and the and like the oop. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Like I kind of felt bad because I remember her as a kid. <laughs> and now she here she is being sexualized. <laughs> Me and her the same age, kinda. So Hey man. I am a little older up on the uh, spectrum. <laughs> but yo, with the whole college shit though, just I mean, yo, just discover yourself. That's 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 pretty much that's what me and Mark is trying to tell y'all. I hope you're listening, and I we love you. Just discover yourself. That's it. But um, the don't rest party of the- too hard. Don't mm. put your drink down and walk away. Nah, don't party too hard. I'm talking like party. Oh yeah, yeah, Kick party. It. Yeah, don't party Kick too it. too hard. Yeah, out of seven days out of the week. Can get like two to three tops. Don't don't pull don't pull a Derek K. Darko because I I was a party legend in uh, my freshman and sophomore year, maybe junior year too. Yo man, I know <laughs> people partying five days out of the week. Duh, like I was partying hard. Like yo, like there has to be some balance. I wasn't partying hard, but because I went to a community college and because the work was so easy to me, yeah, I would just be a temple 
all the time. Yeah. And then I ended up going to Temple. Right. 